everyone! Today I am back doing another video. This video is going to be a book review. The book I'm going to be reviewing is called The Mailbox and it is by Mary Beth Wallen or Waylon, however you want to say her name. Um, I don't have the book with me because I read it on my Kindle, but I will insert a picture so you guys can see what the book looks like. Okay, now pretty much what this book is about, um, the setting it takes place in North Carolina and um, pretty much why it's called the mailbox there is, um, in North Carolina, this is actually a real thing and I'm pretty sure this um, little like story or tale is a real thing too. So in North Carolina on a beach, I'm not sure what beach it is, um, there's actually a mailbox and um, pretty much the story behind the mailbox is is there is this kindred spirit and um, she pretty much leaves like notebooks or paper and pens, pencils, so you can um, write to her. Uh, you can write like sort of like a diary, a journal. You can put anything and everything you want to put and you put it back in the mailbox and supposedly there's this kindred spirit out there that takes those and reads them all. It's kind of stuff like that. Just kind of like a little um, folk tale or whatever you want to call it. So that's kind of um, the story behind the mailbox and kind of um, what this book is dealing with. Now pretty much um, about the book there is this girl, her name is Lindsay, and um, she's been going to this place, it's called Sunset. I'm not sure if that's a real place in North Carolina, it might be, but I'm not really sure. But in the book uh, there's this place called Sunset and that's where her aunt and uncle live and pretty much Oh, I just drew a blank. Okay, yeah, and this is where her aunt and uncle lived, and she would start going to her aunt and uncle's house every summer. And one summer, she meets this boy. His name is Campbell. He lives in Sunset, and they pretty much, you know, kind of hang out. You know, they kind of develop like a, like, like a little loving summer relationship, and they actually stay together for like a year or two, something like that. And so she would come back every single summer and see him, hang out with him, stuff like that. And this time, what I'm kind of talking about, they were both like 15 years old or something like that. But anyway, so yeah, they were together for like a couple years and then um, one of the times, like like the end of the second summer, I think they were together, um, Lindsay goes back home, you know, for school, stuff like that. And um, pretty much what happens is Campbell meets this girl. I think her name's like Ellie or something like that. They kind of hook up, Ellie gets pregnant, they end up getting married, kind of stuff like that. So she, he, Campbell just ends up writing a note to Lindsay, pretty much telling what happened and stuff like that. So obviously they broke up. They kind of just go on with their regular lives and now it like um, fast forwards to way in the future when they're both like in their 30s or something like that. Um, Campbell still lives in the same exact place, Sunset, and um, him and Ellie are divorced and um yeah and they are kind of going through their own problems with his daughter that is now like 17 or 18 she ends up getting like anorexia so they're kind of dealing with that and um campbell's daughter ends up staying with him for one of the summers and so that's kind of what's going on with him and then Lindsay, she ends up having two kids i think their names are jake and anna i'm not really sure but she ends up having two kids with this guy and she ends up getting separated or divorced from her husband and she was devastated by it because he kept cheating on her stuff like that and she just really was devastated by this breakup so she decides to um go back to sunset for a summer she hasn't been there since the last time with when she was still with campbell so it's been a really long time before she was at sunset so she takes her kids on a trip to sunset oh no wait a minute I lied. Um, Lindsay still went to Sunset every single summer with her family, but this time she was going without her husband. That's the right story. Okay, so yeah, she ends up taking her two kids and she ends up staying at her aunt's uncle's house, stuff like that. And then eventually, you know, regular love story, her and Campbell end up, um, you know, rekindling, getting together, and there's more drama with like, like I said, with Campbell's daughter and Lindsay's husband show ex-husband shows up all this kind of stuff goes on so that's just kind of um the whole entire story of it and all through this time Lindsay every single year she goes like in the summertime she will write to the kindred spirit and um 
Um, she's very, very curious through the entire book who the kindred spirit is, if it's real, if it's fake. She truly believes it's real, but she doesn't know who it is. And um, to kind of give you a little teaser, um, you do find out at the end of the book who the kindred spirit is. And um, yeah, so that's just kind of how the story goes along. It's just kind of like a traditional love story, I guess. Now for the content of the book, I really enjoyed this book. It's um, definitely, like I said, like a traditional love story. Of course, it ends up with like that happy ending, you know, kind of like that. I don't want to give out too much away, but yes, it is a traditional like happy ending love story. Um, this book is, I don't think it's very long. I'm not sure how many pages it is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how many pages it is, but I don't, it wasn't a very long book. It didn't take me that long to read, and it was a very easy read. This book is definitely a good book, and even though it is kind of that traditional story, those, to me, those get kind of boring after a while, but this book was actually really good, and I really enjoyed it, and, um, yeah, overall, it's just a really good story, and I think it's really interesting. What I really like about this is there's actually, like, the mailbox is, like, a real thing, and I just think that's really cool. I noticed um, at the very end of the book, she, the author included, like, a picture of it, and um, there's kind of, like, an author question-answer type of thing. She kind of talks about it, and she says, like, yes, it is a real place, stuff like that, so I think that was really, really cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this book. I know this book review is pretty short, but it, it really is all, all around just a really great book, and I definitely recommend it to all of you guys if you are interested in reading it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this book review. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And of course, if there's any books out there that you guys are reading right now, please let me know in the comments down below, or you can message me, tweet me, comment on one of my pictures on Instagram, anything. Like always, all my um, social networking links will be in the description box. So yeah, if there's any good books you have read lately or are reading right now, please let me know. I would really like to read those. And of course, before I go, I want to give a shout out to a few of my new... S I was about to say scholarships. Subscribers. <laughs> and of course, before I go, I want to give a shout out to a few of my new subscribers today. Gabrielle A. Courtney Fuller. Kate Mialikova, <laughs> sorry if I totally butchered that name, Carla Edwards, Sugar Skulls, and Andrew G. I want to say hi to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. I really appreciate it, and I really hope you guys are watching my videos and enjoying them. All right, everyone, so like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. All my links will be in the description box, and let me know if you have any video requests or other comments, questions, concerns, and... Yeah, I'm going to get going. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.